Hey, Wing Addicts, what's going on? What's up? It's your pal Tommy, Wing Chef Ryan, Donnie the Cleaner. You know what? We're driving around. We're in Thomaston, Connecticut, and we're like, we need to do a wing deal today. And uh, Donnie, we pulled up the Wing Addicts app, and what did it say? Clocktown Brewing. Clocktown? Clocktown. So we went there. We're going in. Wait. Hey gang, here we are inside this place, and OMG, when you just walk through the door of this place, you know you're home. <laughs> it's beautiful inside. Oh my god, it's so nice in here. Ginormous, it's beautiful, and uh, the I'll tell you what, awesome. gang, it's the old clock factory. Seth Thomas Clocks here in Thomaston, which is Clock Town, hence Clock Town Brewing Co. Seth Thomas created this clock company here in 1853. This same building, now owned by George LaCapra. George and his buddy Ed Daniel were sitting in a different brewery eh, around 2018. They looked at each other and said, you know what, we should do our own brewery. Poof. The universe said, your wish is my command. And uh, George's father had purchased this clock tower building back in the 80s and uh, he was using it for storage for his company, which is attached to it. And the idea started and it started to bloom. And they brought in a master brewer, Chris Sheeler. And all of a sudden, they're making beer. They said, you know what? We don't want to just be a regular brewery that brings in, that brings in food trucks for our people. We're gonna make it a restaurant too. Because George and his wife, Stacy, they wanted to have a restaurant as well. So guess what, they did it. And uh, oh my gosh, this place has been absolutely packed. They didn't open until 2020. Remember what happened at the beginning of 2020? I don't know what happened. I can't remember either. That's but you know what? Millions of people felt the same thing when they opened a business in 2020 and COVID came. But guess what? This place was able to have it, to hold it down. They've got a beautiful outdoor area. The inside is just so big and enormous. And so vast in here. Plenty of spacing for everybody. You know, and like their their brewmasters are creating classic style beers. It's a beer lovers brewery. They're not doing all the fruity stuff, no smoothies, none of that stuff. They have the classic IPAs, the great flavor, a lot of sweetness in that IPA that actually I'm drinking right now. But it's all due to the fermentation process. Now also, like a lot of breweries that just have the beers. Here, they figured let's have a bar as well. So it's not just for the beer goer. You can come enjoy a beer with your friends, your wife. Whoever doesn't like beer, they can get a cocktail as well. They're yeah. mixing up great stuff back there. They got a hell of a whis whiskey but selection and everybody they knows. An insane kitchen making, what are we here for guys? Wings. Wings. And they don't have a huge flavor selection, but they've got a solid lineup of about five strong flavors and they have a rotating wing of the month. Today's wing of the month is right there. Takarashi. Takarashi. Okay. Sweet and spicy with Takarashi Japanese seasoning with some great Szechuan peppercorns in there. It should be a little like cinnamon. Sweetness with spiciness all blended together. I say we dig into that one first, but before that, we also have Blazing Honey Hawaiian Teriyaki Garces and Beef Sesame Seeds. Classic Buffalo. Their house barbecue and their garlic parmesan. All sauces and everything are made in-house. The buffalo is just a classic hot sauce with uh, butter and a little bit of seasoning in it. And this blue cheese. Stan's blue cheese test. Stan's the blue cheese test. It is homemade. We think there might be a little mayo in it. There might be a little sour cream in it. It's Lots creamy. of blue cheese in here is the one thing we can confirm. Chunky, 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 chunky blue cheese. Blue cheese. Yeah. Let's eat wings, you guys. Okay, okay. yeah, this looks amazing. Look at these wings. Look at all this sesame. Beautiful so presentation. Beautiful presentation. Ding. Wow. That's just so sticky. It like glued my lips together. <laughs> Very sticky. Very sticky. Nice and salty. Oh my god. Now their wings here. They're steamed first, then deep fried, which is going to help with that nice crunch factor you kind of got on the outside right here. Huge 
crunch back. Small enough for home, guys. They definitely got a little dredge on them, that extra crisp. Well, let's do garlic parm. Mm -hmm. Alright. A little nice roasted garlic smell. It smells there. good. They look amazing. Lots of not really green parmesan, but like flake. Nice flavor in that parm. Crisp. Oh. So much roasted garlic flavor. Dude. Now I know these wings are right up Donnie's alley. He loves them crispy, a little extra well. Alright, for you. Absolutely perfect. I mean, look better than a place that not only you get good wings, you get some nice craft beers. Not nice craft beers. I mean, one of their signature beers, their house IPA, is amazing. Mine's a little more. And I'm not an IPA guy. This is good. Okay, it's a bell IPA. <laughs> and it's, it's no, it's, it's, he's dead on with it. It's a sweet, mellow, not bitter and hoppy IPA. Like, that is a crushable IPA that I can drink with. Yeah, they're, they're very tasty. I'm on number two. Okay, where are we going next, right? Barbecue. A little barbecue and drunk. Barbecue. Drunk with a beat of that barbecue. Barbie. Sticky. Brian, take a bite. Nice barbecue, It's a nice classic nice barbecue. Lazy, sticky, flavorful. The barbecue's got a little more vinegar than I'm used to. That's really good. It's not your run-of-the-mill barbecue. No, it's not overly sweet. Yeah. It's got a little vinegar in there and a little tartness. It's definitely it's a nice. unique to, to this place. It's got its own unique barbecue. Heck yeah. It's not very dark either. It's got a little bit of a clarity to it. Almost translucent. Dang, this place holds 140 people on the inside. Huge outdoor area. Probably hold a couple of hundred more. Giant parking lot here. You don't really know, Donnie, how to find this place if you don't know it, right? You really don't know it. So if you're coming up the street towards the clock town, you're going to see a big sign on your right hand side that says clock town. Big letter, big scripty letter, and a black sign, gold letter. You're gonna drive by that, and then literally about 100 feet down the road, you're gonna see a street. You go down that street all the way until you've seen a small clock tower sign on the fence. You turn in there, and there's a huge parking lot in the back, massive. It's definitely a hidden gem. It's definitely, a, it's literally right behind the clock tower. You wanna pull in the first parking lot. It just looks like that's where you're supposed to go. Did you start on something new? Ryan, no. Ryan sat there for like 20 minutes waiting for us. Oh. Blazing honey. Blazing honey. That's a nice, like, you know, hot honey with a little bit of hot sauce. Dude, that night. I'll tell you what. When you were explaining the obstacle course, I tried the blue cheese with some celery. And some thick, delicious blue cheese. It's not a vinegary blue cheese. It's very no. creamy. Okay, this place opened up at the beginning of 2020 when Wing Addicts began. We came here two or three different times and there was nobody here. It's closed. Because guess what? They're not open on Monday. They're not open on Tuesday. And on Wednesday and Thursday and I think Friday, they're not even open for lunch. They open at 4 o'clock. But when they are open, the place is packed, the place is popping, they do events here. They've got a mug wall. You're a mug wall, can oh, Am I not eating? Oh on this packet, actually, the cartilage is crispy like a pork rind. This tastes like, literally like a Dorito on a chicken wing. Like a sweet chili Dorito. Yep. So oh my. We only had packet, actually, what? Two other times? Yeah, but it wasn't dry rub. Well, one was a wet with brown sugar, and then one was on a smoke room that was dry. Yep. But the whole thing was that. So this is a new profile. Fried with a nice, heavy, and dry. More spicy takadashi than the taste of it. Yeah. That's, that's my jam. That, that's ridiculous. And then we got the bubble. It's still buff. There's the just flavor going on all over the place. Now. Yep. The buffalo is not swimming in sauce like you see a lot. Nice vinegar. Classic buffalo. Hot sauce, butter. And go raw. You know what we're going to do? We're going to call timeout because we're not full yet. We're going to smash the rest of these. 
and we're going back after. Hey, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Stay right there. And then there was pizza. So you know what, gang? This menu over here, yeah, wings are awesome. You know we're all about wings. But they've got sandwiches, burgers. This place is a full service kitchen. They're packed all the time. And the and the pizza here, they rave about. Did you say that uh, that oven came in from Italy? From, from what Italy. kind of oven is that? Turkey pizza oven. <laughs> I've heard um, of them. Wood fire. Uh, and we got some gas tanks as well. Uh, these are done with a high gluten flour pizza dough, which they portion and does get uh, cold fermented for about a day or two. This is a rosemary potato. So it's a white pizza with sliced potatoes, bacon, and fresh rosemary. Oh, you smell rosemary and garlic. Is that illegal in some states? I'm not sure. It's crazy. I'll serve you. I need to know a girl named Rosemary Potato with bacon. <laughs> I hate it. I, I secretly hate it. Wow. And a couple of hundred different levels. Oh. Creamy, salty. Rosemary's great. Good bye, Mama. That's a good I've eaten. How about this one? There's a white base sauce, prosciutto, arugula, shaved parmesan, and balsamic drizzle. Wow, that's a great one. I'm calling you out, El Presidente. Get over here and try their pizza. The wings are the awesome. They have a monthly wing of the month. They have a monthly pizza. And they're making it like this, and then, oh, right, this is they're a brewery, which they have awesome beer. Clock Town Brewing Co., gang. Patrick. It's in Thomason, the Clock Town. The Clock Town, you have to get in here and enjoy yourself. That's right. And you know what? You might have a hard time finding it if you don't know you're looking for it. You pull up the Wing Starter app, the Wing Addicts app, you'll find it. There's directions. When you're out there at your favorite wing place, go in the Wing Addicts app, take a picture of the wings, give the place a little review, give them some love, tell, them, tell everybody how much you love it. Follow us on YouTube. Follow us in our Facebook Wing Addicts community. And as always, we go. Wings up. Wait a minute. Did we, did we get did we forget to mention we're lobster addicts as well. They have hot and cold lobster rolls here. Dude. It's crazy. Yes we do. Is that up the hot variety? Yes it is. Hot buttery lobster. I'm the play. only way. Feedy. Oh Ryan, look at Oh! Save some for uh, Emma. Oh lobster. man. Save some for, for Tommy. Let's go. I think three bites and it might be gone. Oh, that was like a challenge. Monterey. Come on, Thunder. man. Bye-bye, Lobster World. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Wow. Wow. Run down here, run down. It's lobster time anytime here at Clockdown for the summer. Come join us.